All right, so I'm going to be as real as I can, all right? So imagine a boxing champion, all right, steps into a ring with a karate champ. Like two fighters, each masters of their own craft, face off in an epic showdown. But the bigger question, who is going to come out as the last man standing? Is it a boxing champ or is it a karate champ? Well, folks, it's your boy, Pudy Boy J, and it's good to have you back right here on Pudy Boy J's channel. Guess what? Today, we'll be doing a deep dive into the strategies, the strengths, and the weaknesses of both sports to actually answer the ultimate question. And I guess by now, you already know what the ultimate question is. But before we make an attempt to answer that question, you know, we can't just come and sit here and just, you know, say whatever we want. We gotta have what? Substance. So what? I got some pointers we're gonna, you know, lay as foundation to base our debates, comparisons, and the argument on, yes, on that fact. So without further ado, you know, void of bias, let's look at these pointers. So one, we'll be looking at power and precision from both ends, right? talking about, you know, the act of striking and all that. Then, secondly, we are going to look at the different mechanisms. What am I talking about? Talking about guarding, blocking, all that. Then, the third one, we are going to look at the footworks and movement, you know. Then, to crown the whole show, stamina. I'm talking about the battle of endurance. Folks, Stick around to the very end of this video because you know the answer to this question might just surprise you. It's your boy, pretty boy Jay. Let's go. Firstly, let's talk about what makes each of these disciplines lethal in their own right. I'm talking about like boxing is about raw power do you understand like boxers train relentlessly to perfect their punches talking about the jabs the hooks the crosses what the uppercuts i mean you name it now each of this is designed you know to deliver maximum impact i'm talking about like to knock out the opponent with sheer force now let me put this out there a seasoned boxer knows how to throw devastating punches with pinpoint accuracy and they do so with what incredible speed on the other hand talking about karate karate bender Oof. yes i look at this one <laughs> someone called me master popeng kung fu panda all right so karate emphasizes Precision and technique over broad strength. So while a boxer may throw fewer powerful punches, a karateka focuses on rapid, I mean delivering rapid and precise strikes on you know vital areas of the body. And karateers or karatekas or however you want to put it are trained specifically using their elbows, their knees, and even open hands. So it makes them what versatile fighters. But the real question here is in a head to head match, would power outweigh precision? Or could the speed and accuracy of a karateka outmaneuver a boxer's, you know, brute force? Hmm. This is a big one. Well, I'll say what, let's dive deeper. That brings me to my next point, talking about defense mechanisms. Now, we need to consider how each discipline defend themselves against attacks. Now, in boxing, guarding is everything. A boxer, hands in a match is always like that up protecting what his face and torso and then ready to what absorb 
and also what deflect any blows or incoming blows on the other hand to let you know the garden is actually designed to actually minimize what damage and also create an opening for a what a counter attack now this defensive stance is actually key in close quarters combat like where like a boxer has the ability to dodge and weave actually can change the tide of the fight in case you didn't know now you do karate however takes a different approach defense in karate is all about dodging i mean blocking and dodging so a karate car uses a variety of blocks you know to redirect or neutralize an opponent's strike but the defense of karate is also about evasion so moving out of the line of attack with speed and agility unlike close quarter nature of boxing karate uses i mean often relies on maintaining a distance and using quick and precise movement to avoid getting hit so would the relentless guard of a boxer withstand uh, <laughs> you know the dynamic blocks and evasion of a karateka or would the karateka's ability to maintain a distance give them the upper hand wow let him cook <laughs> don't worry stick around the answers are coming that brings me to my next let's talk about footworks now footworks in boxing is a dance like you know the dance movement so it's a constant rhythmic movement that allows the boxer or it keeps the boxer balanced agile and ready to what strike now boxers are trained to move in and out side to side creating angles that allows them to you know land punches while you know avoiding the opponent now a good footwork can actually be the difference between landing a knockout punch or getting knocked out yourself so in karate like movements are more fluid and then versatile like a karateka footwork is designed to keep them light on their feet ready to strike or evade at a moment notice unlike the linear movement of boxing karate is actually the it actually emphasizes on circular motions and swift changes in direction this allows the karateka to quickly close the distance deliver a strike and retreat even before the opponent gets the chance to you know counter attack now as you are getting closer to the answer now with regards to these two styles who do you think is still going to remain standing is it the disciplined rhythmic movement of a boxer or the fluid adaptive adaptive movement of uh, karate well let's add the toppings that brings me to my next point talking about stamina the battle of endurance now before i drop the curtains on this particular comparison let it be known that no fighter will ever win a fight without stamina now that that is out of the way now let's look at boxing boxing is not just about physical i mean having a physical stamina it's more also about what mental toughness like they go through rigorous brutal type of training that should keep them what focused and sharp to you know capitalize on any um, opportunity given at any point in time even if they are physically or mentally drained or exhausted they need to keep going because what well, they are looking out for the least opportunity to capitalize that is who boxers are so don't ever mess up with a boxer <laughs> he's going to knock you out cold yeah now on the other hand karate actually emphasizes more on overall body fitness all right so not just about the 
you know, train like a boxer, training the arms, you know, the legs, blah, 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 blah. But like, focus is more on the arm thing, you understand? But with karate, it's the other way around. It's a whole overall body fitness. And the approach is more about evading and like fluid movement and all that. So like, just the little chance they are coming for you, you understand? And they must make sure that what? Every kick or every strike counts. That is karate for you. So with endurance, they actually, you know, give out like a short, intense, explosive energy anytime they come for you. You get me? Just like that. Unlike the unlike the boxer. So with all the explanation given, who do you think is still going to remain standing? I mean, in my local parlance or the urban parlance, they'll be they'll, they are going to say, they are going to say who get kappa instead at the end of the day who get kappa is it the boxer or the karateka who be having the capacity to withstand and endure throughout the whole time all right guys so this is my submission and then that brings me to the ultimate question that you all have been waiting for for us to answer who win in a fight is it the boxer or the karate well in my opinion, I'm going to say a boxer stands a chance. Are you serious? Yeah. So why did I say that? So my whole argument will be based on the fact that I'm going to choose the footwork and the movement aspect, you know? Boxers move in a rhythmic pattern, right? So it means it gives them chance to conserve energy. And then monitor you know the game and yeah to conserve energy literally but with a karate talking about still the the movement they are like all over the place like hopping like 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 they are like frogs right hopping left right center looking for an open loose chance to give you a powerful invasive kick and that invasive kick when it hits you he's coming for a vital part of your body so it must count right okay now jumping and hopping around i'm sure you'll be bent out of glucose or whatever but looking at the boxer he's able to what absorb whatever you are bringing in with a guard thing right and also conserve energy with his redeeming movement so like moving in out side to side like not hopping around yeah so that is what i feel might you know give a boxer a chance but hey I want to know your thought. What do you think? I mean, I want to know your opinion. Drop your opinion and thought in the comment section. So who do you think? Will a boxer stand a chance? Or will a karate stand a chance in a clash, epic showdown? All right, guys. So if you enjoy this type of video of this comparison and all that, don't forget to, you know, smash me a like and subscribe if you haven't. And then feel free to, you know, put out in the comment section the next comparison you want me to do and I promise even though I'm not a midwife I'm gonna deliver yeah